Y'all, we have time for uh, just uh, one more segment. And of oh, course, shit. this oh, is shit. our uh, Jam of the Week. Wait, when, do I know what this is? Oh, yeah. oh shit. Yeah, it's oh. that drum sound. So, Holy fuck. Surprisingly, this song is celebrating its 20th anniversary this month. Oh. This is all the way out of Agora Hills, California. Oh, this is Hooba Stank. Oh my God! <laughs> Wait, what's the hook of this song? Oh, you're gonna know, know it. You're gonna I know am. it. Okay, it okay. Gonna, this burn. is where I check out. Oh, I'll, alternative rock. I'll crank it when it hits. Seth, okay, hell but yeah. This please. is off of their. This sounds like a prom dance song. Oh, it I mean, is. it's uh, kind of. Well, it's it's a, a cry after the prom. Dance. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> song. Hooba uh, Stank. I thought they got Ooh, more like let's bring something stank. kind of shit. Uh, but yeah, no. This uh, well, this is their power ballad, dude. Yeah, they've got. Oh, everyone's got. Uh, do it. Well, they've got crawling in the dark and stuff, but uh, here it is. Yeah, here we go. Okay, it's starting. Oh, to yeah. Something I yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, this is some oh, graduating yeah. high school shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the rear view of your youth. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look, here you go. High school. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I've been telling you the shit's deep, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is some shit I've seen like in a movie in the montage of maybe yeah. we shouldn't have broke up or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The, well, there's yeah. going to be some of that in the comments, too. Uh, uh, of course. But uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, you know, uh, I, I graduated high school in 2004 and this is oh a damn God. 20th anniversary situation coming up. So I was oh like God. looking at the biggest rock singles of 2004 mm. and this is pretty close to the top. Uh, yeah, I was smoking crypto at this point. Yeah. I was <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't feeling much. No, just I, playing Mario Brothers. I, fucking yeah, I graduated Game in uh, 93. Uh-huh. And I saw some compilation video on Facebook, and it was like, these songs are celebrating their 30 <laughs> or 35th anniversary. Yeah. And it was like all like shit that I remember from right, like, right. right after high school. And I'm like, uh-huh. oh. <laughs> oh Cure yeah. for pain by morphine. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like so. interstate love song. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. man. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey. Dude, I was riding the car with my dad when I was a kid, and that song was on. And I turned to him and was like, "This is my new favorite song now, Dad." Oh, that rules. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the first. No, no, yeah, Interstate I, Love song. I probably no, not that. this. I was a, I was <laughs> seventeen when this. I tried that with Three Eleven all mixed up. Oh. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, this is my favorite song. This guy's get it." Uh, he just dad just punched you. <laughs> yeah. It threw me out of the car. Yeah. So uh, I yeah, know a, I know a guy with a big Three Eleven tattoo. Really? Oh, Does he shit. regret it or is he super down forever? <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> well, then he was down forever. <laughs> <laughs> His memory lives on in, in 311's uh, discography. I, I worked with a guy who went to see them every year. Yeah, yeah. I liked them very much when I was young, and I think it's because it was like just playful enough without getting too serious about rapping. Well, <laughs> we're not going to kill nobody. We're going to smoke a weed, play video games. Well, look, he's but a little too sexual for a young man. He's, to he's really not with us. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's not with us anymore. So he's standing God still damn. for eons. And he probably played um, this at his funeral. I mean, this seems like a good vibe. World song. Well, <laughs> and so the, what is the lyric there? What's the hook uh, lyric? The reason, the is, reason you. is you. So okay, that's bullshit because that's never true of anything. Yeah, well, <laughs> so uh, one person. Song, when you're drunk, anything. you can be like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, so like, those notes. <laughs> it's like, I can't stop pants. thinking of my ex. Song, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, so, totally. Y'all, totally. Y'all are talking that shit, but yeah, uh, yeah. this has one. Billion views. I didn't say on it was deep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and one hundred and four thousand one hundred and fifty-five comments. And y'all, I read every goddamn last no. one of them. So now let us go down into the YouTube oh. comments for who the stank's the reason. <laughs> uh, and I should add, by the way, a uh, fun fact in regards to uh, this show's lore: mm. uh, the main guy is named Doug Rob, and that is Rob with two Bs. Uh, so uh, <laughs> yeah. We we have a theory on this podcast. <laughs> There's never been a good Rob with, with two B's. B's. Oh, oh, no first shit. name, last name. Never trust a man with two first wow. names. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely not. Uh, first up, Visca Barca from three years ago. My wife asked me, how do we tell our kids about the cruel world? And I, oh. said, and I said, "What? I know just the way. 
<laughs> dot, dot, dot. Exactly. <laughs> Terrible We're parenting. T- one oh one. We're at the gathering of the juggalos, and my wife asked me, <laughs> "Son, you want to know about life? <laughs> you want to know about It's a cool you world. Than I can. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's from Hoobastank. Can point you in the right direction. <laughs> wow. Fuck that. Uh, Horrible. Uh, well, at least they found each other. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Samantha Speckman from ten years ago. I gave up on trying. I saw him two <laughs> two years ago at McDonald's. <gasps> he was there with his new wife, his kids. Oh my! I God. gave him my number, but I never heard from him again. He won't change, but I don't let it affect me anymore. <laughs> I'm like, you tried to pick up your ex in front of his wife and kids. Oh, <laughs> You're he a won't dickhead. Change that motherfucker. <laughs> like, yeah, he got married. <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> what a dickhead for Ooh. honoring his marriage vows. I'll say you reading these things over that bed of music <laughs> is so fucking poignant. <laughs> I'm going to fucking cry. Anyways, it's just the emotion matches right up. <laughs> just, I was at McDonald's. <laughs> this one goes out to Brad. <laughs> exactly. I hope your wife didn't see that I <laughs> gave you. That number. <laughs> yeah, how many affairs started at McDonald's? <laughs> Man, that's some white trash shit yeah. right there, folks. We were waiting for our nubs. <laughs> I got a QPC. She got a 10 piece. <laughs> our hands reached for the same pile of napkins. Uh, and we both got the hot mustard, even though most people don't know about hot mustard. Exactly. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Mortal 209 from 11 years ago. Feel the vibe, everyone. Uncle Cracker used to be good. <laughs> but only with that one song. The only reason people cheered him on at his concert is because they were either a drunk slut or just drunk off their ass. Oh, yeah. Beer was like a dollar that day. <laughs> off their slutty ass. When, when it I think says it, beer was like a dollar. That's literally says <laughs> beer And that's the end of like the... A, so I think Uncle Cracker must have opened for Hoobastank, and he's complaining about a, a concert from 11 <laughs> years ago. But it's listening to this song being like, wow. Uncle Cracker did suck. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Those drunk sluts. <laughs> The Uncle Crack. When I think drunk sluts, I think well, Uncle Crack. Yeah, exactly. Let's go to the oh. Uncle Cracker show and just be drunk sluts. Yeah, 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 exactly. We'll fuck every guy yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you girls want to fuck? Except, we got to go to Uncle Cracker. Except, show. Yeah. except clearly not this guy. Not this Who guy. Still yeah. He's still it. mad with his chicken McNuggets. Uh, uh, <laughs> Christopher William from oh. three years ago. Could be normal. The DA has my shit all fucked up. No. <laughs> I, I don't hit women. I hit a car one time, though, with a person inside, but they got out, and they were standing, walking, and talking. So I said, look, let's get out of the pouring rain. We'll just pull in that gas station under the bridge to the right. And they <laughs> turned right, and I jerked left onto the highway. I mean, shit, that's what the motherfuckers have done to me like three times. Wow. <laughs> Typing that out, then justifying crime. it like you're in court, and then being like, so that's it. <laughs> the DA <laughs> commenting on this. Woo. Why <laughs> Why would you type that I, out and tell everyone? I you was did like, that? Oh, okay, you didn't commit no. domestic violence. That's good. It's I like, guess dude, the DA does not have you all fucked up. He's got you dead to rights. It's God like, damn. Yeah, they printed that out. Maybe, they brought it to court. <laughs> maybe the person driving the car was a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, and I have no reason to believe it's him. But uh, shout out to Pennsylvania-based comedian Chris William, uh, who opened up for me when I, last time I did. Some hey, buddy, we believe you can change. Chris is the bomb, him. man. That's Look him. him up. You can change, Where buddy. It's okay. You heard some of it's funny. Oh God. What the uh, uh, oh shit? What's the one where they have the the Little League World Series? Williamsport. Williamsport. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah I did is, a show in Williamsport. It's harmony. Oh, it was fun as fuck, <laughs> dude. I love Central PA. Uh, Ryan Goodsell from six years ago. Don't do it, Ryan. If you'd like to be my reason, <laughs> don't type it. If you'd like to be my reason, hit me up. My wife has made it apparent recently oh. that she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> she's asleep in the next room, and he's Aww. like, fuck it, ladies, I'm sending out a message, a bat signal to all those. <laughs> the, sound, the soundtrack of divorce. <laughs> you are the reason we got divorced. Uh, Wasn't love, <laughs> apparently. Mr. Gaming Monkey from 12 years ago. <laughs> Speaking from experience, this song helped me out in one of my past relationships. She put me in front of the computer and said, watch this. And she said it was because she felt I was not acting like me. At the end of the video, I got up, said thank you, and kissed her. 
funny thing is, this bitch cheated on me. <laughs> <laughs> he's at least he's a bitch, even though she saved him or something emotionally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that he was like, but ultimately still a bitch. <laughs> oh, I, w- I mean, I swear to God, no matter how much he loves someone, if they were like, sit down, sit down, you're not being yourself, and then yeah. played me a song, <laughs> I would be like, oh, that was a cool song or whatever, but yeah. or we still have problems in our relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd be like, even if it was my what? favorite song, yeah, I'd be like, like staring yeah. to heaven changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I love you. Hey, why, are, why are you putting on Hotel California? Yeah, I don't exactly. understand. You start fighting, like, Hold on, hold on, I'll play you a song. <laughs> Just calm down, I'll play you a song. You're like, Oh, they'll solve it. Uh, Robin Alberti from three years ago. <laughs> don't blame me if your baby ends up fucked up because you didn't listen to Mr. Drunk Ass Fireman. Now you better stop. You keep messing where you shouldn't be messing. You, you keep thinking you'll never get burned. I'm not a baby killer, all right? Look around your own yard, dumbass. You're about to be a father. Leo is not the role model to follow. <laughs> Leo is not <laughs> the role model to follow. That's a lead singer of Hoover State. Leo. <laughs> no, it's no, Doug it's Rob. Not. It's Doug two Rob. Bees. That's yeah. right. He's a bass player. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> never trust a bass player. <laughs> yeah, I, I fucking silent dr- but deadly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drunk ass fireman. <laughs> yeah, I love letting, drunk. Letting the houses burn down. <laughs> all drunk ass fireman. <laughs> Leo. Oh, fuck. I uh, got a couple more here. Foxy Rockstar from 13 years ago. I guess I better not further engage the aggressive driver with Maryland plates in front of that school zone finds double sign. I'm a cyclist, too. I, I wish I could force the bitch into a head on crash <laughs> where the left hand lane turns into it. She abused the lane using it to pass me. I runs on rock and roll. Welcome to the jungle. Foxy Rockstar, a.k.a. Fox the Rock Czar. What is it with the movie oh. violation <laughs> posts? <laughs> Here's what it is. This the is the, also a I want to murder someone. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And, have it, and have it be legal somehow. Yeah, so a hoobah steak brings that up, people. <laughs> this wistful high school uh, graduation so song. In the video, the video, the plot is that a, a lady uh, is looking at oh. Doug Robb from across the street, waves at him, and then walks down the street, pretends to get hit by a van, and then they rob a jewelry store. And then at the end, she sits back up and she went and gets on a motorcycle and escapes. He so, did it in her honor to rob a jewelry store? No, like or? she pretends to create a diversion so they can rob uh, a jewelry store. Damn, that's cool. So Fuck. there is a hit and run in Dude, the, she in the, the video. She was the one. I should. I probably should have made that She clear. was the one, man, for sure. Oh, yeah. These definitely. lyrics ring true, that video idea. <laughs> oh, it all makes sense now. <laughs> Yeah, it was like, it's all because of you that we were able to rob this bank. <laughs> uh, Charles Hamilton from five years ago. <laughs> Charles Hamilton. Hi. My name is Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Hamilton. Anytime they start with introducing yeah. themselves. Hi, my name is Charles. I love this song. The reason my future wife is the reason, by the grace of God, she's the reason I'm working on to change who I used to be. Never been happy till she came along. Now her daddy wants her to wants her to stop texting me. Her daddy trying to stop all of our relationship. And I'm like, how old is she, oh, Charles? <laughs> Charles. Yeah, Charles. Hi, Charles. Leave it alone, Charles. Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah. Uh, and finally. God, this one's crazy long. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of got a pee, so I might just pee on myself at the end of this comment just for just to piss on this song. And finally, <laughs> Roosevelt Holmes from seven years ago. That's a great name. Whoa. And this is all caps. Me and one of my sexy ass baby mom always made the best love on this beautiful song. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, she did uh, change a lot in my life. Merlande, aka Sexy Shay, truly thanks <laughs> you, God, for giving me the pleasure for allowing me to be in your life. You're one of a kind, and that's hard to find. I'm missing you when you're not around me, but I truly still love everything about you. I see you, LOL. Babe, please come back to me. My heart and thinking is lost without your presence of me not being able to holding and kissing you. Roosevelt, parentheses myself, will change everything about me for you because you're worth my changing. (laughs) Bay, don't be scared of me. You should not know. Wait, you should know I would do anything for you, Mirlande. (laughs) Try me one more time. Please don't want too long. Just say yes to my new improved changes that have been trying so hard of working on. <laughs> Baby, uh. this crazy man right here wants to marry you. So here is our loyalty song from me to you. Wow. You are one sexy, young, beautiful woman. Young is spelled Y-O-N-G. 
I'm always dreaming of you, holding you at all times. When you like to talk to me, my knees are just waiting for your permission to say yes, yes, yes to me. Oh my God. <laughs> you are and always have been my one and only wife, Mirlande. But you know, it doesn't sound like you're married. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it sounds you, like you really got the message of the song, honestly. You must married me. It's something my mother wanted for us to do and also myself, yet <laughs> want rest of my life if I have you. Can't s- nothing stop Roosevelt. I will always be there for your sexy fine ass with joy and happiness. Oh, forgot about the song I'm dedicating to you, my soon-to-be wife. LOL. Here it is, my love. <laughs> he nailed it. This would wow. maybe marry him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, I want to marry him. This song coupled with that? So, Come on. I, uh, he really huh. is demanding my hand in marriage, <laughs> which, I, which I appreciate. <laughs> yeah. I got to buy my plane ticket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the guy. YouTube is the answer. That's where all the eligible bachelors Thank are. <laughs> <laughs> They've been all spit out on, uh, uh, yeah. And that is Hoobastank oh, with God the reason damn. our jam of the week. Woo!